Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Last time we we did quite a few different things. We we met a ghoul out on the middle of the street who started yelling, Yeah, you're a vampire, aren't you? I'm a ghoul. Uh potentially breaking the masquerade, but yeah. Um and he said he was on some secret mission for his vampire master who he didn't say who it was. Uh, we went into the medical clinic and found a girl who was basically dying, covered, she was lying in a pool of her own blood. We fed her our blood and made her into a ghoul. And we basically were like, peace. Um, yeah, it, 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 we're, that's not going to be the last time we're going to see her, trust me. Um, we, uh, what else did we do? We met with the bail bondsman, Arthur Kilpatrick, and got a quest to find out where his bounty hunter went. We talked to some guys on the beach, the Thin Bloods, and uh, basically picked up a quest, a side quest, uh, to figure out what's going on with the whole Thin Blood stuff. We went on the Santa Monica Pier uh, by the crime scene and saw the body of the uh, the guy who was like murdered. And uh, we were just about to go and beat up the punks who stole the Astrolite. So let's get to it. Uh, probably want to make sure. Yeah, and you can see the the icon on the side turned to a gun, which means we're in a combat zone. Want to make sure. How do I? How do I equip my weapon again? Use. There we go. Oh, whoops. Hang on. What's the key binding? Sorry, guys. No, wait. Options. Uh. Manly weapons is F1. Yeah. But why doesn't it switch? Oh, it's F1. I'm pressing 1. Okay, okay. Oh. So let's um not be aggressive at first. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've always wondered if it's true intestines unravel to be 20 feet long. Um, do I look dangerous to you? Sure, a big man like you isn't scared of me. Yeah, let's let's seduce him. Dude, just go in. <laughs> Damn, I want to hurt somebody. Mm. Real bad. Tension, inflict some pain. What am I listening to? Cheating ass computer. I I don't even want to know, bro. Oh wow. That was Yeah. 
I heal? Alright, you know what? Fuck you, bro. Yeah, we took quite a beating, didn't we? Admittedly, yes, it was my own fault for taking the car stereo. I didn't think my my in, uh, what is it? Gamer instinct just kicked in. Like, hey, a shiny! I want to grab it. All right, what is this? Email. Attack. Difficulty five. God damn. Okay, surf report. Uh, Malibu. Two to three feet, occasional larger sets. Water temperature 62. I don't know what this is for. Three to four feet, good. Water temperature 63. Doc Weiler. Two to three feet, riptide, water, temperature 64. El Porto. Three to four feet, riptide, water, temperature 64. Hermosa. Five to six feet, great conditions, water, temperature 64. And Redondo. Five to six feet, great, wind, great conditions, water, temperature 65. Okay. Again, I have no idea what that means. What any of that meant. I cannot... Why can I not pick you up? Oh, I'm healing. I'm healing on my own. How do I go back into first-person view? Oh, Z? There we go. Looks like I cannot pick up more than one knife. Ooh, money envelope. 250 bucks! Excuse me, I was walking there. We suck, eh? So it looks like I can only carry one of each type. Astrolite! Could have snuck in through there, yeah. Actually, let's check the around the area. So I know I could have like turned that off. That would have turned the power off, yeah. Then yeah, someone would have come out here and like started looking and shit. Gotta go all the way around. So yeah, I definitely could have handled that a lot better. Um. But hey, we're a fledgling vampire. Just learning how to make things work. What kind of place is this anyway? No. So I believe we have... How many points do we have? We have five experience points. So hacking computer. How many points is this? Initial cost is three. So I can only do one. Save the things for now. 
I'm gonna save the points. Um, well, let's see where the bondsman was. Carson lives at the Santa Monica Suites in apartment one. Right. Okay, so we'll have to head back to the apartments. Scared the crap out of me. Sorry, my window's open and I just heard like some people screaming, but just my neighbors. Um, yeah. Let's go Main Street. You know what's crazy? It's after midnight. It's like 12, it's almost 1240 in the morning. And there's kids screaming outside. Not that I really care, but I mean, come on, man. So, I think he said apartment one. Wait, is this? No, this is not the place. I'm an idiot. Wait, where is this place? Santa Monica Suites. Okay, so I seem to have forgotten where the Santa Monica Suites are. But here's the thing. So there's no map in this game per se like you can't just press m and, and have there be a map but if you go to the bus stop you can actually use this to see the area map santa monica suites 14 which is right next to the pawn shops oh where mercurio is so one is right there So silver rain, nice. Check, check. Is this thing recording? God, I hate these things. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, the uh, McGee case is getting weirder all the time. I found where he's been hiding, and I saw some really creepy stuff down there. There was uh, no sign of McGee. I'm gonna follow up on another lead I got too. I updated the files on the computer. Uh, this is Carson signing off. Man, that sounds stupid. So that's eight. Difficulty of eight. Octopus, though marine biologists that have examined the monster have commented that they have never seen anything like it in the cephalopod family before. Right. McGee. Ugh. Oh, whoops. Difficulty two. Um, Carson is, whoops, Carson is elite. Oh, Lordy Lou. Okay. Hacking is wits and computer. That's cost four. All right. Let's just do this. Amalia. By the way, you can pretty much always find the uh, password yourself without hacking. It's just incredibly hard. Sometimes you find it in like different locations. Sometimes it, you'll hear someone say it in like random dialogue. It's yeah, the location in the tattoo parlor. Okay, and the key. Don't forget the key to the tattoo. It's on top of the TV. Thank you. Peace. Uh, the reason I don't want to talk to Mercury right about the astrolite, just in case um, the... Like, I want to get the painkillers for him before it, just in case, like, a timer starts. I don't want him to die. Um, tattoo parlor. Where was the tattoo parlor? 
right there. Charming. By the way, this low res stuff, it's not because it didn't load in properly. That's that's literally how it's supposed to look. Just one chair. Where's the telephone? Oh, God. Hello? Hello? Might I speak with Mr. McGee? He doesn't seem to be here at the moment. Can I help you? Well, I'm not sure. I had an appointment with him a few days ago, but he never seemed to show up. <laughs> Do you know when he'll return? Um, no, actually, I'm looking for him myself. You are? Isn't that a coincidence? Why are you looking for him? Uh, he's just an old friend. Oh, I, I see. Could you answer a few questions for me? I'd be delighted to. Why don't you come down to my office and we'll talk about it. Where are you located? I'm at the end of Main Street, small basement studio. The sign says Gimbal's Prosthetics. Just ring the buzzer and I'll let you in. Sounds good. Let's be there in a little while. Weird phone to have, eh? Uh, yeah, don't know why he has all these pictures, but. Why wouldn't you have weird setup for a TV? Well, this whole thing's a weird setup anyway. There's a lot of, like, spots of blood everywhere, isn't there? Uh, Santa Monica, I guess. Yes, may I help you? Uh, I spoke with you on the phone a little while ago. Oh, right, right. I'll buzz you in. Thanks. Wonder what this guy's story is, eh? Hello, welcome to Gimbal's Prosthetics and Medical Supplies. You are here about the missing Mr. McGee, am I right? Yes, I am. And who are you? Oh, yes, forgive me. My name is Gimble. Stanley Gimble. But, oh, dear, let us dispense with formalities. You can call me Stan. Let's talk about Mr. McGee. Hmm? Oh, oh, right, right. Mr. McGee. Well, as I told you, he was supposed to show up a few days ago for a photography session. Reference for my work, that kind of thing. But he didn't show up? No, he didn't. Earlier, I had asked him to take a few pictures of himself for my perusal. A sort of um, resume, you might say. And that was the last I'd heard of him. I see. And does the name Carson ring a bell? Carson? No, uh I don't think so, anyway. Oh, oh, look, I know I've got some information on Mr. McGee back in my files. Do you want me to try and dig it up? Sure, that sounds great. I'd appreciate don't it. mention it. Just wait here a moment, and I'll be right along. Thanks. Oh, you have such beautiful arms. I absolutely must have them. What? Bro, be crazy, yo. Where's the speaker? Well, this doesn't look creepy at all. Mannequin arms and other parts, twenty-six fifty. Whole mannequins on sale, one hundred twenty-five. Prosthetic limbs varies per customer. Crash test dummies, one thousand four hundred fifty. Amputees must wait up front.
This definitely looks legit. Sure, I'll take it. Um, yeah. Oh, and it goes down further. Oh, locked doors. Oh, this looks oh, oh so inviting. Look at all that. What is that? Looks like it's burnt. These. Why are there pictures of fetuses? Dad. <laughs> I just love how there's like anatomy pictures and then picture of like clown dad. What is this called? I Ipsolorum or something like that? When it's like just random gibberish written down? I always forget what it's called. That is a hell of a lot of blood. You know, I get the feeling this Mr. Gimbal, um is not all he says he is. Huh? Oh, hey, help! You gotta get me out of here, man. This guy's a freaking nut job. Who, Gimbal? Who, Gimbal? Yeah, Gimbal. That guy's been taking pieces off of me and McGee over here for the last three days. He's crazy, man. Freaking crazy. Okay, now how do I open this door? Are you really going to beat me to death with a fucking... With an arm? Really? lifesaver. I wasn't sure I was going to make it. I'm telling you, I've been on some weird cases, but this one takes the cake. You're Carson, I take it? Yeah, yeah, that's me. How did you know? <laughs> Arthur Kilpatrick sent me. He did? Oh man, that's solid. I owe that guy big. I hope I can figure out a way to get him back for this. He's got some work for you, so you should head back to the office. What? Oh no, man. No, no, no. Not for me anymore. Look at my hand. Gimbal took my trigger finger for a trophy. I'm oh, all through geez. with this business. I hate to leave Arthur in a lurch, but that's just the way it is. <laughs> you hear that dog barking? I think it's old Yeller. Uh, I understand. Well, I'll give him the bad news. Thanks again. Don't worry. I'll take care of old Stumpy here. You better do. Oh, gee, oh my god. He, he dead. Mickey dead. Oh, I could take the... the severed arm as a weapon. There it is. I actually have completely forgotten about that. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the... the dildo weapon you can have from Saints Row. Alright, let's put 
the knife back. So what was in here? Oh god. You know what the worst part is? How many floors did we go down and not a single fucking toilet? Can I get in here at all? I don't think there's anything in there anyway. No. Anyways, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's give the bad news to Arthur. Arthur! What's shaking? I found Carson. Unfortunately, he's not coming back. What? Ain't coming back? What do you mean he ain't coming back? Well, his trigger finger got cut off by a psychopath. Man, that's a tough one. Bounty Hunter ain't no good without his trigger finger. Well, hell, that really leaves me in hot water, boy. Gonna cost old Arthur real good. What's the problem? I got this guy with a sheet a mile long, put in on three warrants. His girlfriend put up for the bond, and now he missed the court date. I can't get in touch with either of them. Want a job? I don't know. What would I have to do? Well, it won't be much of a job since you ain't licensed and all, but until I can get me another bounty hunter, I need you to find out if this guy skipped town or what. So you just want me to find out if he's here or not? Yeah, no body attachment or nothing. Just find out if he's here or where he went. I'll pay you. Deal? Why don't you pay me for the Carson job first? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, here you are. All right. Uh, sure. I suppose I can help you find this guy. Great, great, all right. The guy's name is Mike Durbin. Goes by the name Muddy. His girlfriend put up for his bond. She lives over there above Tripp's pawn shop. Her name is Marion Murrieta, but I haven't been able to get in touch with her. What's this guy's record like? Well, he was brought up on manslaughter charges years back, but he got acquitted. Since then, he's been in and out for this and that. Small-time stuff, mostly. What did he do this time? Most recently, he was brought in as part of a big case on stolen auto parts. It's this big chop shop thing that's going on in Santa Monica. Been in the paper. Okay, so above the pawn shop, right? That's right. Mary Ann Murrieta, in them crappy places above the pawn shop. Find out where the hell Muddy is, where is he going, whatever. But be careful. You're not licensed, and if anything bad goes down, I don't know you. You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. All right, come back when you got some info. Thanks in advance. Uh, I'll let you know as, I, as soon as I find something. Okay, so let's head... Let's head over to the pawn shop first. Um, sell a few things for my inventory. Thanks for coming back. What you need? Uh, I just want to, like, sell you some stuff, you know? But first, I was wondering if you had heard anything about, like, the serial killer. Yeah, it's freaking me out, to be honest. Yeah. I'm open all night in Santa Monica. Police don't rank amongst the nation's most worthy. Are these killings happening around here? Oh, I don't know. I heard earlier someone at the pier got ripped up like that poor bastard in Long Beach the other day. Interesting. I'll tell you, crazy stuff happens all the time, and it's like we just get used to it, you know, just going our way, do do do. But this, I don't know. These killings are chilling. Indeed, you should you should be careful, bro. So, did you need anything in particular, or? Yeah, I got like some stuff I want to sell. All just right, here's what we got today. Okay. I got some estrogen. Got a, I got a car stereo, a silver ring. Don't worry about the blood bag, though. No. Uh, oh, that's the astrolation. <laughs> I want to keep that. Uh, you can keep the tire iron, baseball bat. <laughs> Severed our value is zero. Uh, I really don't want a gun. 
I'll keep a gun just in case, but I, I'm not going to use it, I don't think. Steak. How much money I got? 646 bucks. Jesus. Um, I guess I'll buy this stuff now. I mean, 54, 54. I, if I remember correctly, these are like, um, they're, they help raise some stats. Like a boost on my computer or like lockpicking or something or security. Um, what have I got here? I got five points. Research, I have one. So I could put in scholarship or. You know what? I'll hold off for now. Let's see what's going on with this um, upstairs. Firing, uh, finding Marianne. Marianne, Mariana, whatever she's called. Uh, actually, we could probably tell Marietta. So five oh seven. Is there anything in here? No. So, Myriad is 507. Oh. Spare key. Pawn shop lodgings. Oh, over here. Peepin, a voyeur's field guide. Hey, Mayor. It's Mike. Look. I gotta head downtown for a few days, maybe longer. If Reno calls, hey, it's Nicholas Cage. There. We got something to discuss, apparently. I'll be at Milton's place in the Skyline Lofts 2A. Sorry, baby. I'll explain everything later. It's okay, Nick. I forgive you. Uh, what was the book we got? It said Peepin' Tom or something like that. Okay, so I got another point. Oh, jeez. Uh, Alright, I'll put... This one is four. I'll put one in scholarship. And I'll put one in security. Or actually, let's do one for now. Let's see what that gets us. Computers for Grandma. To begin, put the foot... Put the foot pedal on the desk and push the power button on the metal box. This is the house for your friend computer, Chip. The enchanted electronic pixie that can do 4.8 billion calculations per second. Wow, that's fast, Chip. Do you see an image on the magical computer window? Reading this window will boost your computer knowledge. That's awesome. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. And this one, peeping. Peeping's not just for lonely perverted losers anymore. In fact, at least three psychologists say it's a healthy form of sexual expression. Every good voyeur needs to develop a, a sneaking game. Get used to crouching and evenly distributing the weight as you walk. Stick to shadows behind cover. This will you'll be tapping titties in no time. This book raises your stealth skill. Cool, cool. So my sneaking is three now. My computer is three as well. But now it costs six. Yeah, I'll I'll increase the security. All right. Uh, where do I need to go now? Right, I need to report back to Arthur. You know, let's, um, before we head back there, let's see if I can hack into some of these, uh, some of these things on these PCs. Is it here? So, email. Lakers. 
All right. A little help. From Fred Dingo. Hey, Danny, I could use a little help down here. Can you go up to controlled substances for some morphine? I'm pretty sure I'm pretty busy right now. Thanks, F Dog. Uh, next. Yo, Mama. No, it's not for my personal use, you bastard. I didn't know they were out upstairs. Maybe you can get some in Malcolm's office. By the way, your mother wears combat boots, F Dog. Oh shit, that's cold. But I'll make sure to knock before I go in. I'd hate to catch him in the middle of a pelvic examination. And by the way, tell your mom to stop calling me. F talk. Okay. So what did this do? Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, 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 yes. I remember now. Uh, he said Malcolm, didn't he? Difficulty of four. What am I at? I'm at two. Um, this raises... No. Blood buff. What's blood buff do? Is it raised by two? Oops. Nice. Morphine. Okay. So that's what we need for Mercurio. Okay, so email. Someone trying to take a shit? Panacea. Tonight. Malcolm, are you free tonight? I thought you could swing by my apartment after your shift. You do still make house calls, don't you, doctor? I have something that needs to be checked out. Page. Oh, it's a love thing. You do still make house calls, don't you, doctor? I have something that needs to be checked out. Um, think she's suspicious? Do I really have to ask twice? We don't have to do anything if you don't want. But I really do need some help setting for my anatomy, anatomy test. Please. Guess I'll see you around five. I'm really glad you finally decided to come over. And if you should want me to join and and if you should want me to show my appreciation you just have to ask on your way home malcolm do you think you'll be able to get a day off next week my mother's coming in to town on thursday i bought a new mattress and some new curtains for the guest room and do you think you can pick up some donuts and orange juice on the way home for breakfast okay patience of course Hippocrates? H. Poe. Diagnosis. Ruptured organs, lacerations, internal bleeding. Condition critical. A. Kilpatrick. Diagnosis. Severe tinea infection compounded by untreated herpes simplex 2. Interesting. Uh, D. Marsh. Diagnosis, frequent bounce of sexlexia. I don't know if that's an actual condition. Maybe. Who knows? Diagnosis, chronic marboperitis? Marboperitis? Uncur uncurable. Isn't it incurable? I don't think this guy's a real doctor. Let's put it this way. Okay, I'm actually glad we came. Um, so what we'll do, let's go talk to um, Mercurio first. Mercury boy. I still love good. Mercurio? I bought you some morphine. Hold still. Oh. oh, holy Christ, I needed that. Um, 
I got the astrolite back. Yeah. Did you waste those Ooh, I gained bitches? humanity. Nice. Yes, they left me no choice. Good. Great. Hope it was painful. Did you get my money back? Your money? Yes. Yes, I did. Here it is. Ah, uh, your lifesaver. I might have to buy some new kidneys with this. So what's the story with this astrolite? That astrolite? Twice as powerful as TNT. Instant demolition. Be on the other side of the world when you engage that timer. You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a Sabbat interest. Um... What's a Sabbat? I, I know we already asked this. Smiling Jack kind of told us. You haven't been doing this too long, have you? The Sabbat, as I understand it, are your typical power-hungry movie monsters. They specialize in causing grief. I've tangled what they're like, let me tell you. I didn't enjoy it. Tell me about this warehouse. I heard a lot about that operation. Well, I'd love to get in there, get my hands on the equipment they've been unloading. But it'd be suicide to walk in there. Got a small army of trigger-happy types, and they're all packing. I don't know, maybe, uh... Maybe what? Uh, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tong's hiding out at the moment. What? Why? Tong's laying low because of Therese. Therese Vorman, you know her? Anyway, word is Therese and Tong are feuding. I don't know the details. Mike takes that Tong thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. If you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're going to have to get Therese to call off the feud. Okay, where can I find Therese? She and her sister Jeanette, they run the asylum. Hey. Some freaky customers frequent that place. I try not to do business there. We actually met Jeanette. Uh, what can you tell me about her? She's the woman around here. Power player. Nice looking broad for a dead chick, but uh, personality like stone. Okay, I had a question about someone else. Who exactly? Jeanette Vorman. Therese? Therese I don't like, but I can respect her. Jeanette's different. I don't know what to make of her. She's a little, you know, in the head. I don't know. Therese is, well, like you. And I would think so's Jeanette. But I hear rumors about her. Rumors? All right. Jeanette got a body built for bedrooms. And I got close acquaintances says they conquered that territory. But I asked the main man, and he says, you types, you know, can't or don't or do that kind of thing. Anyway, whatever she is, I hear Jeanette's a wild girl. Yeah, so vampires, they don't really have sex. Uh, well, okay, they can have sex, but they don't really get any gratification from it. Not like anything else that lives does. Because uh, to vampires, it's all about the blood. Blood is the ultimate orgasm. There's really nothing else. Uh, I had a question about some someone else. Who exactly? Bertram Tung. I don't know him myself. I'd like to meet the guy. Kind of a local legend. He and Therese seem to be contenders for this city. He's crafty. Smart guy. I haven't heard anything bad about him. Um, I had some other questions about people. Who exactly? You. What's to tell? I can get anything anyone wants at any time. I could say it's my calling. Till the astrolite. Wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Well, back east some shit went down. Big Apple can't go back. I hate L.A., but what are you going to do? Uh, I had some questions about Santa Monica. Specifically? Uh, tell me where I can... Tell me about some of the power players. Who exactly? Oh, never mind. Okay, guess that's pretty much it. I, I don't really care about the guns. Um, oh, whoops. So, we have three points. Um... I'll hold off on the points for now. So let's go talk to Kilpatrick. Hello, Arthur. Hey there, Slick. Uh, I got some info about Muddy. So what'd you find out about Muddy? He fled someplace downtown. All right, then. I'll have to call in some bounty hunters to help me find Muddy and a couple of other jumpers. Thanks for all your help. You thank me in American dollars. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry about that. Here you are. 
Thanks. See you around then. If you ever find yourself or a loved one locked up, please call. I will. Let's uh, check out his crime pewter. Oh, actually, this is going to be a lot, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, oh, oops. Sorry, I keep hitting the tab. By the way, the reason you're seeing like the tab pop up, the reason I even had the tab in the first place, this game is actually surprisingly hard to get into full screen. Um, and you have to have a command, or not the command problem, but the console, sorry. Um, you have to have it in the shortcut with like the full screen attachment at the end. Um, okay. So I think that's going to do it for this episode. Um, actually, one second. While trying to find money, Mike Durbin heard you answering machine, heard you an answering machine message saying that he's headed downtown to Skyline Apartments to wait. The residence of Mr. Milton, even though Arthur has got you loose, maybe you can get some money for finding him. So we don't have access to other areas yet. Um, but um, yeah, eventually we'll start, we'll be able to start going to like other districts of uh, California. Uh, but for right now, we're just kind of uh, isolated or, um, you know, restricted rather to uh, Santa Monica until we kind of clear up some uh some quests main quests and open up like the surrounding areas but yeah in the meantime that's it for this episode i uh, hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough so far thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care